personal branding point, I think that one of the most confusing people in the world today is Kanye West or Ye. And that's part of the problem. Here's the thing. Prince could change his name three times. And at one point it was just a symbol and we still loved him. I think that the challenge with Kanye West is like, you're an almost 50 year old man who seems like sheer chaos. And part of his personal branding is controversy. So I don't know if you heard that he took a home that was built by a very, very famous architect, bought it, and then basically demolished it. He didn't want any kitchens or windows or air conditioning or whatever, but then kind of abandoned the project and sold it. Um, he feels like a chaos train right now. And I don't really understand why, and I don't really understand what he's hoping to gain from it. Now, I have to say, honestly, I don't know his music. I've never listened to it. I haven't had an interest, but I know that there are a lot of people who really do respect him as a musician, and maybe that is what he's best at. I think the challenge is he married Kim Kardashian. Yeah, Kim Kardashian. They had children. He was in the public eye. His first six albums were like unbelievably popular. And so he had this like fast track to fame and fortune. Maybe that messed him up a little bit. Maybe now he's confused about who he's supposed to be in the world. I don't think any of us look at him and think he seems really well. And I think that's part of the problem is he's built this personal brand on like shock and awe. And that happens, right? You build a personal brand around shock value and then you have to keep outdoing yourself in order to maintain either the popularity or the notoriety as it may be that you've built under this personal brand. I don't know. I know there's a lot of conflict around it, but what do you guys think?